Hello and welcome back to Nat Scraps. I'm Natalie, a close to my heart maker, and today we are creating the second layer with the scraps. Yes, you heard it right, the scraps left over from the Are We There Yet collection. So I've got a couple other videos up, so if you missed the start of them, I'd highly, highly, highly suggest you pop back and see those videos. It shows what we did with the collection and then now what we're um, creating with what's left over. I am inspired to use this shield, but not in a traditional way. This is a leftover die cut piece. I am thinking of using it as a template to create a border around this page. Now, you've seen me pop down some A5 white cardstock and that's because I wanted to have a bit of a go with a few of the stamps and see what I could create. So I wasn't quite sure of where it was going and I was really just playing to see what would work, what wouldn't work. So I've brought in this little arrow set that is from the Are We There Yet? Are We There Yet? Are We There Yet? Um, scrapbooking stamp set. And then we also have a little line from the card making one. So there, there's three sets that I've brought in and one of them's the exclusive um, card making stamp set for Are You There? That was a mouthful. Sorry guys. <laughs> That's where these little arrows are from is from the card making one. Then these tiny little dotty kind of triangle arrows are also from that card making set and I'll have some pictures up in the, the top right hand corner of those sets so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm trying to fill in the space around the um, shield and you can see sort of like I was bending the stamps to make them fit and work. So. After I'd had a bit of a play, I thought, mm, I reckon I've got this now. So I'm now going to go in with the stamps and do it for real. So this time I'm working on my white daisy cardstock and I am going to start filling in around. This arrow just had the right kind of curve to sit in the corner of the shield. And then I will bring in some little hearts. So instead of trying to get those tiny little triangle arrows in I'm thinking no I'm going to do um, some hearts in those corners and build them out so the other stamp set that we are using is the um, loving it right now collection and it will also have a little picture up in the corner and that one has two different size hearts which I used now I'm using the same three stamp sets all through this series so there's no surprises if you watch the whole series and have those three stamp sets you'd be able to replicate anything that I have done here. I've got those pieces filled in and now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do between those arrows and I wish I'd had a sapphire blue pen that I could just get a little um, thing and just do some my own little stripes that would have worked really well but it wasn't quite what I was you know it, I didn't have a sapphire pen and I was trying to figure out how to fill in these holes I've tried looking at those arrows and whether I'd be able to do that I eventually land back on the idea of using that little dotted arrow that we've got there. I'm going to try out using one of the other stamps which has got some little circles on it. I'm going to try that there and I don't really like the result and um, so that's not going to work and then after thinking it about a little bit I'm thinking I can go back in with this arrow so I'm going to make like a little bit of a homemade mask. Um, stamp it in one spot. I'm just going to cut out the, the three kind of little dotted lines there that I want and the little arrow head and lay it back over the top. Now this piece of paper is just transparent enough to see through. Now 
you could do this with masking tape but you wouldn't be able to see where you're stamping I liked that the little piece of note paper that I grabbed was really thin and I could see and I could line up the circle that I left on the paper and just that little arrow head and I could see where the other inking was underneath and then lay it directly over the top so the only um, thing that did happen here was you can see here me laying up the paper I did a nice uh, larger shot for you um, that is after I used that note paper and it didn't occur to me to after it happened after I used it um, three or four times it actually left a smudge mark so and um, you'll see in the top right hand corner if you look really really closely there is a little bit of a smudge mark there that I just can't get off because it actually seeped through that little bit of note paper under um, to the cardstock underneath now I'm just going around and blending along those edges of the shield and I'm going very lightly I'm not trying to lay down too much ink here and I keep going back and wiping some off the blending tool because I don't want it too heavy and if you like this and you want a really soft soft color the best thing to do is go really really lightly only add tiny amounts of ink to your blender and do very small layers at a time you can always add more but you can't take it away there I'm just removing the sticky after I've taken the stencil off and I'm left with this pretty piece of paper now at this stage it's just a piece of white daisy with stamping which is incredible I'm always amazed with what we can do with just white paper here I'm bringing in the leftover piece of shield that I'd cut away in one of the very first videos that we did and I'm just seeing if I could use some of this paper and I decided to cut a little strip off and I'm going to use that sort of as my foundation where everything is going to sit. If you watch my last video, we talk about me having a bit of a brain fart and how I moved loads and loads of things and it, um, the chaos that happens there. And this video I filmed straight off finishing from the last video. I came straight into this video. My bench was an absolute mess, which is not uncommon. I quite often have a really messy bench. And there was things everywhere, including stamps and ink pads and all that kind of jazz. And it really shows in how distracted I was when I was making so I make all these tiny little kind of um, details and redo things and um, it really helps me if I actually clean up between projects and that's what you I really should do and I know I should do it but sometimes I'm just in the zone and keep going the other thing to know about this one is I started it quite late at night I stopped and had dinner because my husband had cooked tea I then had a um, video chat with a friend of mine while I was trying to do this and I interrupted I had to interrupt the filming and then forgot that I was filming kept going and then I got to quite late at night I think it was 10 o'clock or something like that and I went I'm going to bed <laughs> so it was sort of like very chop starty so I didn't just sit down and create this one and then when I came back in the morning I again forgot to start the video so there's a tiny little bit right at the end that I miss out on but that's life in my household I am a bit crazy like that these are the picture my life cards and if you followed me and subscribed or what been watching the videos which definitely hit that subscribe button hit that bell button and all those good things that everybody keeps telling you to do on YouTube um, if you do um, have been watching my videos for a while you know that I bring in the picture my life cards it extends my kits to no extent the amount of layouts I can um, get by just adding base pages and picture my life cards is amazing also if you've watched some of the other videos you may have commented already and let me know but I am trying to um, get you guys to guess how many layouts I get out of the scraps of this 
particular kit. So I have noted in other videos that I have um, some, uh, some double pages and some singles. But how many pages do you think I get out of all these scraps? And what do you think I have left over at the end? I'd really love to see. I do also have a bonus video right at the end for you guys. And that bonus video is one making lots of little embellishments with the tiny things that we have left. And believe me, we have some tiny things left. But um, it's amazing what I get out. And what I'm going to do at the end of that video, if you've liked, if you've subscribed and left a comment on that video, that will be the very last one in this series, then um, I'm going to give away the embellishments that I made. Here I am just uh, I've matted up those photos while I was yakking away there and I'm trying to use up a few more of those scraps which quickly get thrown to the side because they're way too busy down the bottom there. And I'm trying to get a bit of a balance between you know the flags and the photos and I keep um, having to squish those photos in because I don't like it when I sort of they get a bit wider and the hearts on the side of the shield sort of come um, get lost so I keep trying to manipulate them back into a cluster in the center I think I eventually I get it right I've put that little bit of picture my life card up the top there because I want to balance out the blues and one of the things I realized after I had a good night's sleep and came back to it is that I needed to move everything down a bit I was getting way too high in this layout so um, eventually I do figure that out sometimes it takes me a little while and I went and I moved it all down only maybe an inch an inch and a half something like that but I did move it down this is where I'm on a call with one of my friends one of my good scrappy friends and we're having a bit of a yak and I was sending her photos and I'd started a video chat with her but that didn't work and all sorts of things have gone on in the meantime but we're having a bit of a yak and a bit of a catch up since we hadn't caught up since before Christmas um, and it was really nice to chat with her but I also got a little bit distracted as well. Here is the pretty much the bones of my layout it's pretty much what we end up with. I do bring in a few other things to stamp and cut out um, I can't stress how much the stamp sets that I put aside to use with these layouts and with the scraps helped. If you have coordinating stamp sets, it's so amazing what you can do with just a couple of tiny bits of white daisy paper. It's um, really, yeah, it blows my mind sometimes what we can actually make. Here I'm just trying it without that blue strip and giving that a go there and um, I don't believe that worked. I think I'll bring the blue strip back in at the end as well. I'm trying to bring in a little bit of brown because I've got a brown photo mat there. So I'm trying to bring in a couple of touches of brown to get that um, evened out a little bit. And you may have seen it there randomly pop up was that little um, papaya piece of um, a little uh, pocket shaped piece of papaya now that is a way a sticker leftover remnant so the sticker has been taken out that was left over from where the sticker was on the sticker sheet and I've just snimmed around it nice and neat because I just wanted a hint of something in the background there so I've used what would have been something we would generally throw in the bin to um, make a little bit of an extra embellishment there now this is where it's starting to get really late guys and so it's time to rest, clean the bench, reset, revive and start again in the morning and that's exactly what we did. Unfortunately I missed me moving that down. You can see now it's a little bit lower on the page and I also missed, there's a couple of things that added that you didn't get to see there. One's the circular bit on the bottom of the left hand side next to the camera. There's a little circular thing that says um, greatest adventure and a little tag there on the other side that says special day those I stamped and um, popped there when I wasn't recording so that is pretty much it guys so thank you very much for coming and watching this video today for spending this time with me and for all the comments and things that you leave behind behind
<laughs> leave down below please find any details of the stamp sets the kits and things also in the description below and i look forward to seeing you guys on the next one have a wonderful awesome amazing day Told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way I guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away